Hey loves, Jay here with your mid-February tarot prediction for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, you are welcome. Cross watchers, you're also welcome. Be sure to stick around to, for your final outcome at the end, okay? Let's hop right into your reading. We're going to get some uh, most recent, present, and your future energies, which would be your final outcome that is coming up for you during the remainder of this month messages for Pisces. Pisces, also, I have started a bonus channel for you guys. My bonus channel, I will link in the description box below. It is also called Pisces Energy, okay? So you'll get bonus readings there throughout the week. I just had to do it for my Pisces. I love you guys so that we can get the clarity that we need moving forward here, okay? So check me out at Pisces Energy, I-N-N-E-R-G. All right. All right. Let's see what's coming up for you here. We have the nine of water in your most recent energy here. We have the lover's card that is coming up for you in your present energy. And then let's see what's coming up. Bottom of the deck, six of air is coming up for you. See this glare is uh, from this light. Let me bring this down. Let's do it like that. Let's do it like that. Like so like that. Okay. All right. So most recently here, Pisces, this nine of water, I do feel like you have been in this place of really feeling and knowing like the you've been feeling the fruits of your labor and you also are in this place of knowing that things are opening up for you. You feel different Pisces you feel it you feel it mind body and spirit you feel it the way that you interact with people the way that you're showing up the way that you're thinking the way that you're seeing your old thoughts the way that your your relationship with your money how things used to be I feel like you feel different okay and most recently that is coming up for you like your wishes are coming true it feels like things that have been hidden from you are now coming to the surface and I don't even want to say that in a negative way because I'm really feeling this nine of water here for you which is definitely your energy Pisces but it feels like um, your blessings are now coming to the surface they're now coming to fruition in your physical world which I love this okay so your concerns are fading away and you're loving life at this point. And I love this, Pisces. You're you're in this place of beginning to love light. And the number nine is about ending. So I, you're in this place of ending some of the old behaviors and patterns and thoughts and feelings, old relationships. And it feels like the sun is just shining down on you, my beautiful Pisces. Things are coming to fruition for you. The things that you've been asking for, things that you've been working for, because you have definitely been working very very hard we have the four of cups here we have the knight of cups on the bottom definitely your energy there has definitely been conflict that has come up for you as well and some of you have been closed off to people i feel like i feel in isolation or solid you've been in solitude i'm feeling like that hermit energy but it i do feel like it's because you stepped away from people whether people gave you an opportunity to a choice to or they removed themselves here pisces but most recently i feel like you became closed off you became closed off for good reason because of circumstances that you were going through with this five of swords energy of like going through the ringer with some people for, for you going through the ringer with the thoughts that kept recurring. I definitely feel like this knight of cups energy in the center of this, this could have been someone that has that come in, that came into your space and offered you that cup of love that you have been giving out and pouring out to people. And I, I do feel like, this person sort of came in and sort of smoothed things out. This Knight of Cups energy is someone who is, which is your energy, who is very introspective. They're very artistic. So maybe for some of you, not even just a person coming in, I do feel like this could be an energy that you were embodying most recently. Tap it into your artistic side, really um, focusing on the... Uh, the empathic, the, int the intuitiveness that is coming through on your end as well, that creativity that is coming up for you. So there, this could have been anything for you, anything that you could have ma imagined. Some of you have been investing more time and energy into your projects, investing, investing more energy and love into your relationships, those that do value your relationships, right? Because I say all the time, Pisces, we don't want to be anywhere where we're not celebrated, okay? 
So you don't want to walk into a room and you don't want to feel like you're just tolerated. You want people to celebrate you. So I feel like you had to revamp your space. You had to reinvent your energy, your space your imagination in order to come out on the other side with something bigger and better because what was what you were in was holding you down and people were holding you back there were people's energies that were holding you back whether they whether it was visible to you or not things slipped away from you things didn't things that were that should have been important to you pisces were not important because it was like your energy was a dual energy it was being pulled in two different directions and you didn't even realize that most of your energy was being pulled to this energy of people who didn't want you to win no okay now you've had to take that energy back you had to reinvent it so that now you can bring that back into your space everything that was pulled from you you're now it's now returning and now you're seeing and this is the reason why you have been in this place of letting go of thoughts feelings people places things whatever this is you've been letting go and pouring into yourself because you probably didn't see that before because you may have had a veil over your eyes as i'm looking at this spirit was trying to give you signs trying to make you understand trying to open up your mind body and spirit to um what um to the journey Okay, I'll just say to the trying to open you up to the journey and see the bigger picture of things. And part of that bigger bigger picture was you letting go, but some of you are not fully seeing it. And maybe you had been asking for signs for a long time. And when those signs came in, you actually didn't see it or you weren't ready to actually let it go. So it feels like the universe may have removed things for you on your behalf because it, it definitely puts you in this place here with the five of swords of like battling. That's what that feels like. This could also be self-destruction, but there's conflict that 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 resides in this energy. It is discord. Some of you were disconnected from yourself because of what you were going through most recently. But at the end of the day, okay, I do feel like you were still winning with this nine of water. That things were coming to fruition for you. This wasn't keeping you down anymore. For some of you in the past couple of months, this was this energy was holding you down. People turning them back their backs on you or you being in conflict. But although this is like people turning them their backs on you, I'm looking at this person here and I feel like it's your energy. Like it does not matter. I'm winning anyway. You can do what you want, say what you say. It doesn't matter. I'm going to win. Okay, so I definitely feel like again with the nine of water, things things are fading away have faded away for you and you're in this place of loving life, loving yourself and letting all of your blessings, your blessings come to fruition. Okay. So your current energy right now here in the mid portion is the six of air. And this is things are looking up for you, Pisces. I love this. This is where you are currently. If, if you're not here yet, this is on the way for you. As long as you believe and set the intention that things are going to be looking up for you. But this is an end of a difficult situation for you. And um, I, I like this energy because you have been through the ringer here, Pisces. So things are definitely changing with this six of air. I'm going to pull some more energy from this card. Some of you are really hopeful of the change and the transition that is that is coming. You know, I definitely see like as I'm looking at the backdrop here, all of these horses back here, it's like you're leaving all of that behind because that energy, when I think of the six, when I think of six of cups, I think of memories and like things, people or from the past, you're leaving all of that behind and like you're like, I'm going to do this. You don't have to do it on your own because you don't want to cause an exhaustion unnecessary exhaustion i do feel like you're moving towards individuals and situations that support you okay that celebrate you which is the most important thing but you're leaving behind the old things here you leaving that you're leaving that behind and you're just like i'm on this journey i'm on this solo journey finding myself letting my blessings my blessings come to fruition but there is a lot of growth that is happening around you here if you're in this position with the six of air let's pull some tarot around this Page of Cups, Two of Cups, very interesting. We're getting a lot of sword energy. So um, thoughts or you you know could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but a lot of your energy here. All right, I'm going to move that here. 
So Page of Cups and the, the Two of Cups energy. I feel like this really beautiful inspiration that is coming up for you. Some of you have had new ideas. Some, some of you have had new curiosities. You've had intuitive nudges on how to move forward, whether this is in love, taking care of yourself, in a new job, whatever this partnership is. That partnership could be you, yourself, and I. It could be another person or in, like I said, a job or a career, or some of you are building something. I'm, a, I'm even hearing some of you are rebranding as well. Whatever this is, whatever it is that you have are investing into, it's pouring into you as well, which I love this. There's a very strong connection between you and someone or you and whatever this is. Okay, and I feel like you can be you can show up and be honest. You can be yourself. It feels like Pisces, whatever this is, whether this is a relationship, however that relationship shows up for you in business, personal, sexual, it doesn't matter financially. It definitely feels like you can just show up and be yourself. You don't have to either put up a facade. You don't have to be in this place of like, I got to support this person through this. It's like you finally are like, take me as I am. I'm not going to pour in anything extra because whatever I have left over after all of these other things that I'm doing, I'm pouring that energy into myself. So I feel like you're really taking care of you. Self-care, self-love. I feel like your, your heart is open. You're able to share, but you're sharing with individuals who give you the same energy back, okay? Those that are fulfilling you, those are that are that are feeling filling up your cup here. Okay, you see it's a mutual thing. You give me some, I give you some. Some of you are also dealing with the Leo energy here too. But there again, a lot of ups and a lot of your a lot of your emotions are ebbing and flowing. But I feel like you're. I'm feeling like a really deep spiritual connection um, from this page of cups energy. Like I feel like when I said ebbing and flowing, I'm looking at the water, but I feel like it's a I feel like it's a growing phase where you're experiencing things about yourself, your emotions, your actions, how you show up, how you love. And I feel like it's just kind of you're in this flow, this beautiful ebb and flow. So it's not like lows and peaks. It's just this flow of you're flowing with life. You're flowing in and just letting um, your intuition guide you and lead you. So that's why I feel like you guys are, look at the page of swords is here too. Very interesting. So the, the page of cups and the page of swords. So this feels like this feels like a new energy, definitely. I'm even hearing someone could be entering into your life too. Um, this could be someone younger than you or someone who's, I'm hearing savvy. <laughs> someone, and I, I heard remote. So I don't know if you could be meeting someone. Some of you could be doing online dating. Or this could just be someone that you're meeting to take your, to give you an idea or a spark or something about a project or um, an idea about your business. But I do feel like it's a very youthful fun energy, very um, artistic, very um, motivated. And I, and I feel like it, it gives you, it creates another spark within you. So I feel like you're in this place right now where you're like, I'm excited about where life is taking me now. And I feel like you, let's stay in this energy. Okay. We have that nine of water. Let's stay in this energy here, Pisces, with this six of air of Things are looking up. The difficult situations are falling away and um, things are beautiful. Things are opening up or you're opening up to beautiful things like even the page of wands. Wow. A lot of page energy here. So I do feel like you're creating this. You're in this explorative explorative phase discovering things you're feeling freer in your spirit right now you're excited about life you're excited about your freedom you're you're gaining new passions and desires and you have you feel you're feeling like you're fueled and i like that but it's a it's a it's like a new way of communicating it's a, a new thirst for knowledge mental clarity mental energy um and I feel like you're in this place of just seeing things for what they are and, again, being in the flow. So that's where I feel like your energy is right now here, Pisces. Look, we also have another six. Hmm. Another six. So in your final outcome and your future energy here, we have the lovers. So some of you are just in this place of loving, loving someone even more. Um someone if you're already with someone or just opening your heart to more love that's coming into your life there's um intimate this could be intimate relationships but this could also i'm i'm hearing too for me it's going back and forth with 
not you and a person, but it, it's it, I feel like a really deep spiritual connection of you connecting to a, another aspect of yourself. And it's bringing out this really beautiful energy within you right now, Pisces. This is also uh, good health is, is on your side here as well with that lover's energy. Oh, yes. Okay, we even have that King of Cups energy here. Nine of Pentacles and then the Will of Fortune. So this is definitely pointing to independence, ab abundance, prosperity. A lot of things that you are, are growing. So some of you are growing a garden, but, you know, physically growing a garden. But you're growing your money. You're growing your career. You're growing your family. So some of you could be conceiving or birthing a child very soon. You're growing your money. Like, it just, it just feels like... Across the spectrum here, Pisces, what's coming up for you is a level of fulfillment, something that some of you have been waiting for and some of you have been waiting a lifetime. You've been waiting a very long time to feel a change, a shift in your life, a shift in your finances and whatever it is that you have been putting, pointing your energy towards, right? That vortex that you, that vortex of good energy, whatever it is that you have put into your vortex that you have manifested, okay, that magician energy I'm feeling is now coming to fruition here with this Wheel of Fortune. Fortune is on your side. Things are changing in your favor. And this is going to be constant change, but there's going to be a change of course that is coming up for you where it's like good luck is on your side and your karma, you're, you're reaping the rewards of your karma, right? Karma, what goes around comes back around because it's a recurring life cycle. And I feel like for those of you that have been experiencing feeling down and out in any way, emotionally, physically, financially, spiritually, there's going to be a grand shift for you that is going to be so beautiful, so magnetic. It's going to create a whole new vibe in your life that's going to bring in a whole new tribe for some of you as well. It's going to bring in a boatload of money for you as well. Pisces, there is just there's good energy that is that I'm feeling that is coming up for you. If you're not already in this energy, know that it is yours for the taking. That King of Cups energy is here. Keep an open mind here. Stay balanced. That's the most important thing. Stay grounded amidst the things that are happening around you and some of the things that some of you may be still feeling here and there. Make sure that you stay balanced. Make sure you stay clear-minded. Make sure you stay open so you can be receptive. Make sure that you're compassionate to yourself and to other people who are pouring into you just as you're pouring into them because you've let go of the people already who aren't supporting you emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, whatever. Those that are draining you, that have depleted you, you're letting that go. And now you're stepping into this energy of balance, of um, <clears throat> mutual attraction, of reciprocity. Okay, so that is what's coming up for you here. Um, you're, you have the support. You have the support. You have the support of your divine team, the support of family and friends that are around you. This is, this is, this, I love this. Okay. Things may be, you, I feel like Pisces, you can't predict what's about to happen for you. You just know there's a strong knowing that something is about to change. Something is about to pop for the good. And I don't know what that is. I just know I feel a shift within me and it feels amazing. So if you're feeling that shift, know that that is, it's, it's, that is, I was going to say that is your calling, but that is that is what is occurring for you. A shift is happening. Spirit is also say to, saying to be patient during this shift as well. There still will be moments where you may be tested, but those tests are to make sure that you're ready for this to fully blossom, whatever this is here, Pisces. Okay, so that is the final outcome, that final energy of the lover's things that are you're opening up to make sure that you're staying open minded carefully weighing out your things your your good decisions taking care of yourself so that you keep your your health good because on this new path that you're on Pisces you're going to need all the energy you can get okay so make sure you're staying strong and positive and optimistic and healthy that is most important take care of yourself right now because your ships are coming in after this heartbreak that some of you have been experiencing there's going to be celebrations and coming together no more sleepless nights with this knight of swords things are going to be changing for you so make sure that you stay open 
to whatever that is, a new opportunity, a new love, a new friendship, new uh, new direction in your career, whatever, make sure you know that you're staying open because spirit is guiding you and there are things that you need to learn that was, that's going to bring you back to your passion. It's always going to bring you back to what you love, but make sure that you're staying open so that you can learn whatever lessons that the universe is providing for you. But things are about to change. A lot of healing has taken place for you here, Pisces, and some of you are still in the healing process. But as that healing is still taking place, the universe is providing you with all of these beautiful, abundant blessings, okay? So that is your reading for the mid-February, um, for your mid-February reading. Um, again, I have my bonus channel for you, Pisces, Pisces Energy. I'll again link that in the description box below. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Like, comment below if this reading resonates with you. Share with your family and friends. And I will see you guys for your March reading. Happy early birthday, Pisces. I love you guys so much. Many blessings to you. Love and light and peace.